My name is Sipiwe Sitole. I am a farmer and the founder of African Marmalade, a business that grows indigenous African crops. I started the business in 2015 to respond to the needs of African experts that were in constant need of food that they couldn't find because we don't grow what they eat. I grow food the traditional way, the way my forefathers used to grow food. And so I started growing food naturally. Um, obviously no pesticides, there's um, no use of synthetic fertilizers and work with other farmers that grow that way. So year one, I then got um, an organic certification, but it was saying naturally grown. So that's what I could put on the labels of my produce that this is coming from a naturally growing farm. The following year of my farming then went and got the organically certified that looks into how I'm growing that stuff. I'm really following growing food, following organic principles. So that's, that, that's the stages of my business. But having moved into a new site, I need to have a total new evaluation being done to be able to make those claims. I then source produce from naturally growing farmers. So I would not say that this is organic, but I can be able to say, to say it has been naturally grown. And the other thing is that we supply some of the seeds. So if a farmer does not have the kapambara bean seeds, we supply them with the seeds, we visit them, we check whatever problem they might be encountering. So we provide that technical support to the farmers because some people are willing to make the transition to grow indigenous stuff, but they don't have the technical know-how. They've never even seen the plant growing. So we are there to assist them. Well, I haven't had any major legal issues, but my suggestion is that one needs to sign up, you know, either because obviously you can't afford the service of a full-time lawyer, but maybe just sign up with one of those organizations that provide you with legal support whenever you need it, because you could end up finding yourself completely legally entangled when it was not the intention. The top three business tips. One is be patient. Success is not going to come very fast. It's going to take longer than you think. And have enough reserves to actually sustain and support your business. Um, also be versatile. Uh, be willing to make changes and don't have everything cast in stone. You know, five-year business plan don't really kind of work these days. You've got to think on your foot. In terms of training, we got a program called Junior Farmers, so we work with the young kids. We love working with young kids because we believe that's where you need to plant the seeds so it can grow. The children are the future, so we grow that with the, with the kids. We also have got households. We run a program called a Sustainable Food, food Workshop, so people can come in and learn how to grow their own food. No matter how small your space is, you could have less than four square meters, you could still be able to grow food and stuff that you like. And we advise you in terms of seasonality to say, this is what you can grow now, or you can only grow this, how long it's gonna take. Some other people are not patient, they don't wanna wait for six months. So they're prepared to buy the six months kind of produce, but you know, the, the six weeks, two months stuff, they really wanna grow that stuff. So we're encouraging people to do that.